Hello guys, welcome to Pharmacology Shorts and this is a short video lecture series on running angiotensin aldosterone system which will be covered in four different parts. In this lecture, I am going to deal with running angiotensin aldosterone system in general and angiotensin 2 in particular which include maintenance of blood pressure, mechanism of renin release, synthesis of angiotensin 2, angiotensin receptors, various effects of angiotensin 2, pathophysiology and drugs acting on renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system present in the body regulates blood pressure, aldosterone release, sodium reabsorption from renal tubules, fluid and electrolyte balance, and cardiac remodeling. Coming to the maintenance of fallen blood pressure and volume, this is mainly carried out by three major mechanisms involving baroreceptors of carotid sinus and aortic arch, macular denser cells, and juxtaglomerular cells. Macular denser cells and juxtaglomerular cells are present in kidney. Renin is released into the circulation primarily by these three mechanisms. This is a detailed mechanism of renin release into the circulation. Whenever there is fall in blood pressure, there is less stretch on vessel wall, which is detected by baroreceptors of carotid sinus and aortic arch and send signals to medullary vasomotor center through cranial nerves 9 and 10. This increases sympathetic outflow to juxtaglomerular cells present in kidneys. These sympathetic neurons release noradrenaline which act on beta 1 receptors of juxtaglomerular cells and causes release of renin. This is the mechanism how renin is released into the circulation through an extra renal pathway. Renal mechanism of renin release involves juxtaglomerular apparatus which consists of macular denser cells and juxtaglomerular cells. Here this is an afferent arteriole, this is an efferent arteriole, this is a Bowman's capsule which continues as PCT loop of Henle that turns to form DCT where you find macular denser cells. Mechanism of renin release through macular denser cells. Fall in blood pressure also results in fall in renal blood flow and GFR. This results in decreased reabsorption of sodium which is detected by macular denser cells and in response to reduced sodium concentration, these cells release nitric oxide and some prostaglandins which act on juxtaglomerular cells and causes release of renin. Mechanism of renin release through juxtaglomerular cells. These cells also detect fall in blood pressure through stretch receptors and release renin into the circulation. Angiotensin 2 may be synthesized from circulating renin angiotensin aldosterone system or tissue renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Let us see the cascade of events involved in synthesis of angiotensin 2 through circulation. Angiotensinogen is a protein which is readily released into the circulation from liver. Renin cleaves this angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 which is a ton amino acid peptide. Angiotensin 1 is further converted to angiotensin 2 in the presence of angiotensin converting enzyme which is present on the luminal surface of vascular endothelium and more abundantly in lungs. Other angiotensin peptides Angiotensin 3 and some other biologically active angiotensin peptides are produced in small quantities whose physiopathological role is not well understood. Angiotensin 2 is converted to angiotensin 3 in the presence of amino peptidase. Angiotensin 3 is converted to angiotensin 4 in the presence of same amino peptidase. Angiotensin 4 produces inactive fragments in the presence of angiotensinases. Angiotensin synthesized by renin angiotensin aldosterone system act on angiotensin receptors present on target tissue to produce their effects. These are few important angiotensin receptors present on target tissue. Angiotensin 1 receptors produce vasoconstriction, hypertrophy, fibrosis, and nephropathy. Angiotensin 2 receptors produce vasodilation, antihypertrophy, antifibrosis, and natriuresis. Angiotensin 4 receptors are involved in neuroprotection, cognition, renal vasodilation, and natriuresis. Prorenin and renin receptors produce hypertrophy, fibrosis, and apoptosis. Let us see the various systemic effects of angiotensin 2. Effect on cardiovascular system. The main effect of angiotensin 2 on cardiovascular system is vasoconstriction, 
which is initiated by stimulation of angiotensin II receptors present on venules. This causes venular constriction followed by venoconstriction that increases venous return, cardiac filling, end diastolic volume and pressure and this results in increased myocardial stretch and contraction and finally there will be increased preload, stroke volume, cardiac output and systolic blood pressure. When angiotensin II receptors present on arterioles are stimulated, there will be arteriolar constriction. This causes arterial constriction and increases pressure in arteries during diastole and finally there will be increased diastolic blood pressure. As a result of action of angiotensin II on cardiovascular system, there will be increased systolic blood pressure and also the diastolic blood pressure. Other effects on cardiovascular system will be increased expression of proto-oncogenes, increased production of growth factors and increased synthesis of extracellular matrix proteins. All these three mechanisms result in hypertrophy and cardiac remodeling. Effect on adrenal cortex Angiotensin II increase aldosterone secretion from adrenal cortex. Aldosterone then binds with mineralocorticoid receptors present on principal cells of distal convoluted tubule and increase production of aldosterone induced proteins. These proteins act on sodium potassium ATPase pump and epithelial sodium channels and increase sodium reabsorption from lumen into the principal cells and from there into the interstitium. In exchange with this, potassium ions are secreted into the principal cells and then into the lumen. The end result will be increased reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium ions. Effect on kidney Angiotensin II act directly on sodium hydrogen ion exchange in proximal convoluted tubule and increase sodium reabsorption along with chloride and bicarbonate reabsorption. It also produces direct vasoconstriction effect and increases sodium and water reabsorption. Effect on smooth muscles Angiotensin II contracts many visceral smooth muscles in vitro, but in vivo effects are insignificant. Effect on CNS it produces volume expansion and pressure effect on CNS. When administered systemically, it stimulates thirst center and releases antidiuretic hormone and causes volume expansion. It also increases central sympathetic outflow and produces pressure response. Effect on peripheral sympathetic structures. It releases adrenaline that stimulates autonomic ganglia and increases noradrenaline output from adrenergic nerve endings. Pathophysiological Roles of Angiotensin II Angiotensin II induces chronic hypertrophy, hyperplasia and increase intracellular matrix levels in cardiac and vascular smooth muscles resulting in cardiac remodeling. Under conditions of raised angiotensin II levels, mineralocorticoid secretion is potentiated. In hypovolemic and hypotensive conditions, angiotensin II increases blood pressure by altering electrolyte, blood volume, and pressure homeostasis. Excessive levels of angiotensin II causes development of hypertension and secondary hyperaldosteronism. In response to CNS stimulus, it regulates thirst, hormone release, and sympathetic outflow. Drugs acting on renin angiotensin aldosterone system. These include direct renin inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, aldosterone antagonists, and angiotensin receptor blockers. Direct renin inhibitors act by inhibiting renin release into the circulation. And the drugs include aliskyrin, remikyrin, zankyrin, and enalkyrin. All these drugs end with the suffix kyrin. AC inhibitors act by inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme. And the drugs are captopril, enalapril, lysinopril, perindopril, ramipril, Trandolapril, Benazipril, Quinapril, Moxipril, and Focinopril. These drugs end with the suffix pril. Aldosterone antagonist. And the drug is spironolactone. This is discussed in detail in diuretic series. Angiotensin receptor blockers. These drugs end by blocking angiotensin receptors present on various organs like kidney, heart, and blood vessels. And the drugs are Losartan, Candesartan, Iprosartan, Irbesartan, Olmisartan, Telmisartan, and Valsartan. All these drugs end with the suffix sartan.